In other news tonight, we're learning more about why Erie County's district attorney wants another office to investigate the death of an inmate at the Erie County Holding Center. Last week, we told you he wants the case involving Richard Metcalf to be moved to Niagara County. News Force Dave Graber has more on that, and he spoke with attorneys representing the Metcalf family. Dave? Well, Erie County DA John Flynn says he wants the case moved because of a possible conflict within his office. But attorneys for Metcalf's family have have uncovered not one conflict, but two conflicts in the DA's office. And they found two pieces of key evidence in this case that were strangely ordered to be destroyed. The state says Richard Metcalf died after being improperly restrained at the Erie County Holding Center in late November 2012. They also say the ruling on his death was incorrect, that it wasn't an existing condition that made the 35-year-old's heart stop, but the beating and choking at the hands of corrections officers. The county disputes those findings. The Metcalf family not only wants to know what happened to their son, but they want to make sure that this type of thing doesn't happen to others. As does Erie DA John Flynn, who said he wants Niagara County to reinvestigate the case because his office has a possible conflict of interest. Mike Sinta and the Brown Chiari law firm representing the Metcalf family say there's more than one conflict. We know that, that there are at least two individuals who are closely related uh, to actors in this case that were working in the Erie County District Attorney's Office at the time that a decision was made not to prosecute. Former DA Frank Sedita says neither attorney had any involvement in his decision not to prosecute the Metcalf case. The state says a spit guard was tied so tightly around Metcalf's neck it had to be cut from his body with scissors. Attorneys now say the spit guard and pillowcase used by corrections officers were ordered to be destroyed by state police in 2014. It's not known why or by whom or whether it was done to hide information, but it could be key in court. Sedita says he never ordered any evidence in this case to be destroyed. Attorneys for the Metcalf family confirmed their suspicions about conflicts in the DA's office on various social media sites where they found wedding and engagement announcements. But on Friday, some of those social media pages or evidence that would have been used in court were surprisingly deleted. Live in the studio, Dave Graber, News 4 at 6.